Hello, I'm Francois from Shakmat. We just back from the super booth and we wanted to show you a proper demo of the new model we brought this year. So we have first the Banshee Reach, the Jewel Cast, the Triple Steeple, and the VCF VCA LPG prototypes for fresh, we don't have a name for it yet. So first one is the Banshee Reach. It's an analog VCO with uh, very shape capabilities and uh, true zero phase modulation input. So let's talk first about the very shape feature. The module has several outputs such as a saw, a sign, a square with PWM, and a very shape which allows to cross smoothly from a sign to a triangle to a saw and finally a square. This waveform can be crossfaded with a sub-octave generator from minus one octave, minus two octave, or minus two octave with a quarter phase. The triangle core of the VCO is normalized to the very shape CV input, meaning you can subtly add some harmonics. And this feature is pretty interesting with the true zero phase modulation input. Let's now take a sign from a second Banshee Reach. As you can hear, it's easy to get those classic FM sounds. Let's now add some harmonics. Last but not least, we added a digital control on the tuning of the VCO. We wanted to have a VCO that cannot be detuned during a live situation uh, where you do not turn by mistakes this tuning knob and ruin the whole live set. So we added the octave button which freezes the phi knob and turns the cause knob into an octave switcher. As a bonus, the module can recall a precise tuning and startup. Also, the module can be an LFO by pressing this button. So you can have a very shape output LFO. There is also a sync input, which can be a hard sync or soft sync. As you have two VCOs, you want to be able to mix them together. So let's take two VCOs with a very shape output. And we have the dual cast, which allows first to crossfade between three different sources. Number one, number three, and the result of the ring modulation between number one and two. As input one and two are normalized, just two sources are enough to feed the crossfader. Of course, this mix can be CV controllable. And you have the second section, which is a wave folder in parallel with a distortion. The mix output is normalized to the wave folding input. Let's know here what's happening. And now the distortion output. which clips the signal. It's pretty interesting also on external signal like drum bus and so on. Now we mixed two VCOs together. Let's send them through a VCF VCA LPG module. This module could be called a dual multi-type gate, so two identical channels, which can be different type and mode of filters, VCA, resonant LPG, and so on. You have four different buttons and two different families, so you have eight different types.
Let's now take a square from the VCO. First green type is a low pass filter, 12 dB per octave, pretty gentle and liquid. It does not self associate by itself. Now a second mode of this filter, the band pass filter. A high pass filter. Fourth option is a resonant LPG. Speaking of LPG, we added the optical response feature, which allows to simulate the natural response of a Vactrol. The second family, the red one, is more MS-20 style for the filter. So you have a more aggressive resonance response. This is for the low pass filter, band pass version, and a high pass version. And finally, the last option is a very clean VCA in parallel with distortion slash feedback. The two channels control can be linked thanks to this button. This feature allows to go, for example, to 24 dB per octave filtering or stereo processing. You can also choose if you want serial or parallel normalization. Parallel normalization would, for example, allow for dual peak filtering. And you can choose to have this potentiometer works as an attenuator or attenuator. This module has a fully analog signal pass with a digital control upon the architecture, which also allows, by the way, CV control on the different types. Fourth module we brought this year is a triple steeple. The triple steeple is a three channels envelope generator with control upon time and symmetry. There are four different modes. First one is triggered, second one is gated, third one is looped, and the fourth one is gated loop, so only active when the gate is high. And you have a clock loop option, so the cycle loop will be on the subdivision of the incoming clock. Each channel can have a linear or exponential response. You have a CV control upon the time of each envelope, and you have an assignable CV input, which can be assigned to different parameters, such as symmetry, amplitude, or a third special mode, which is an accent mode, so it will lower per default the amplitude of the envelope and will boost it to its full level when a high gate is received at the beginning of the envelope in the assignable CV input. Envelope 2 and 3 are normalized to the early state of the previous channel. If we set the first one in loop mode, the second one will be automatically triggered and so all the envelopes are playing in cascade as number 1 is sending to number 2 and number 2 is sending to number 3. We have this last normalization. Output 3 is providing by default the maximum value of the three envelopes, but you can remove envelope 1 and number 2 by inserting a patch cable in the inputs. And now you have three envelopes independently.
thanks for watching and see you soon.